helping out today. Was this coat warm enough? Why didn't you wear the one I got you for Christmas? Don't you like it? How was your day? You don't have to tell me. I can see on the look on your face. Let me fix you a drink to warm you up. Her no on the rocks with water. Yes, I remember add the water before the ice so it doesn't precipitate. I can remember some things. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. I had a busy day. I did manage to squeeze in some shopping though. Yes, I always manage to find time for that. I'll show you what I got later. I had lunch with Astrid today. She's going to Europe next month alone. First Rome and then the Amalfi Coast. She and George have decided to take separate vacations. I guess it's not such a bad idea for them. I don't know, I can see it for us. How could I separate from my sweetie for a whole month? How stupid of me. I'll call the kids. Jean, Timmy, Pumpkin! I'm home! You wanna come downstairs? I guess they're watching TV. You know, I don't really approve of so much TV. Besides stunting their minds, it's supposed to have some sort of radiation, right? Didn't you hear that about the radiation? Astrid's taking a jewelry course on Tuesday nights. An old friend of hers is giving the course at his loft downtown. Look what she made. Sweetie. I thought I might take something like that. It's not that difficult, and it's only one night a week from 7 to 9.30. Thought you might manage without me for a couple of hours. Okay. I'll talk about it later. I know you don't like to take up anything argumentative. Argumentative when you first get home. I found a nice shop today and I picked up two sweaters. They were $120 on sale for $59. So I couldn't resist.
This one has a funny collar. But I got it anyway. Thought you'd like it. Sorry. Forgot you were watching. You have a nice black sweater too, right? Thought we could wear them together. Sorry, I must taste awful. I had onions with lunch. Sandra called today. She has a crush on the guy who's teaching her exercise class. She and Jim are going to be coming over for dinner on Saturday. It is all right with you, isn't it? Timmy has a soccer match on Sunday. He wants you to come watch him play. I thought it'd be nice just for an hour. Your mom called. She's not feeling well. She wants to know why you haven't talked to her. She says she has shooting pains in her legs. I told her it sounds like a circulation problem. I told her you're working on a big case with a lot of overtime. Tired, honey. I know you've eaten, but I brought you a little something. I have a great idea. Why don't we listen to some music? I know just the right stuff. Watching anything. Frank just turned off the TV. I think he's feeling romantic. Mm. What are you watching? Yes. Saturday's fine with Frank. Around nine ish? Yeah? Really? In the weightlifting room? Listen, I'd love to hear all about it, but we were just about to get cozy. No, you're not invited. Sandra wants to know if she can come over and help us get cozy. I see Frank's not resisting, but I am. I want him all to myself, so. Call me tomorrow? Night.
She is something. I was having lunch with her two weeks ago, and this guy approached her. He hadn't even seen her face or anything, just the profile of her chest. And I couldn't believe it. He ended up asking her out. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, you don't seem surprised by that story. Someone told me once that guys have to see breasts every 10 minutes during the day just to feel okay. Maybe that's the explanation. Why do I get the feeling that if I were to leave town for a week, you'd have Sandra in bed before my plane even took off? Why do I think that? What's even worse is that you, you won't even deny it. And your son, Timmy's growing up to be just like you. He and Jean were fighting the other day. Forget it. I have to put them to sleep. You know, no one can accuse you of lying. Do you love me? Will you stay with me forever? Are you faithful to me? Do you still find me attractive and sexy? Do you find Sandra to be incredibly sexy? You wouldn't dare answer one of these questions. You get to sit there, listen to your music, drink your drink and smirk. I am left to assume whatever I need to get by. But if you were to ask me one of those questions, would I get away with a wicked smirk like you? Never. I would have to turn my heart inside out to show you, to convince you of my answer. All right, kids, that's it. Turn the TV off. I said that's it! Final! Kaput! I'm gonna try and be more like you. I'm gonna sit here and sip my drink and smirk knowingly. All my girlfriends think you're wonderful. And we're usually tough on each other as guys. We usually say what a creep or can you imagine waking up next to that every morning? But you're someone. They all keep telling me, Astrid and Judy, Sandra, how lucky I am to be with you. It's like you're perfect. You're perfect. But when I think that you're just like all the other guys, breaking your necks to squeeze Sandra's boobs, it strikes me as really stupid. You know, I expect my man to rise above the herd, the snorting, grunting herd. And it really makes me embarrassed for you and for me for being with you. Did I say that? It's the Scotch talking. I mean, Jesus, you're thinking what an idiot I am. You never even had anything with Sandra. I know that, but God damn, it's the principle. I know you don't like me to swear. And no, I have not had too much to drink. Thank you very much. I'm not jealous. I know that's unhip, undeveloped. I just want to be special. That's all. Special. I want to be number one with you. That sounds stupid. 
That's as stupid as those football players running around with their finger in the air screaming, we're number one! How about that? I'm number one! Don't call me hysterical. That Sigmund Freud's nasty word he came up with comes from the word womb. So big deal. They just couldn't stand our excitement. They were jealous, couldn't handle it, so they called it hysteria. That's what Michael, the guy who does my hair, told me. He said that that nervous, high-strung quality like a racehorse is what makes women sexy. I'm not much to look at, nothing to see. And what is the difference, a B cup or C? I've got a man crazy about me. He's funny that way. Frank, I'm going to ask you a question. Is Barbara sexually aroused or just cold? Hmm? <laughs> you hate me like this. <laughs> I feel strong. I could lift the table. I could move the couch. Come dance with me. Hold me. You don't like me like this. You're not in the mood. You've got your mind on your law briefs instead of my briefs. <laughs> You don't like me when I'm drunk, when I curse, when I take the initiative. Sometimes I think you just don't like me. I'm real now. Don't you like me? This is really me, the real me. I like me. I'm actually very beautiful. And I have a nice profile. Don't you see it? No? You don't see it. Of course, you're right. I just. It's remarkable how you can do that. You can manipulate the mirror. Now I see all my faults. I hate my nose. <laughs> and the corners of my eyes. How do you do that? It's brilliant. Why don't you like me? Why'd you marry me? Frank is holding out. I. Why don't you just go if you don't like me? Just go and leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Jesus, they're only words. If I could say them and mean them. Leave me alone. And 
not cry. <laughs> Leave me alone. Sometimes I just panic. I panic. I wonder if you'll stay with me. I was in Soho today. I couldn't believe all these stunning women, each with their own special thing. I felt like I was insignificant. Like I'd be better off if we lived in Ohio or somewhere. And then I started thinking about all the women you come into contact with each day. And how you once said those smart women lawyers made you hot. And I wonder why you chose me. Because you're everything to me. Frank, I can't take it, please. Please, baby. Frank, please, please, Frank, sweetheart. Yes, yes, look at you. You want me now. Oh, you sweet man. <laughs> We're so good now. This is how we should always be. Why did we fight? <laughs> Maybe I just made a scene out of nothing. You want me now. You can't deny it. <laughs> You're magnificent. <laughs> what made you suddenly want me? <laughs> I haven't changed. Frank, was it my tears? Did my s salty tears make you hard? I don't want to think about that, okay? Just hold me for a little while so I can feel you close to me. The other night, after you went to sleep, I was remembering how tenderly you used to hold me in your arms. And how good it felt to be close to you, to be with you. But then I thought, this is crazy. I'm lying next to you, the real you, and having a fantasy about you. <laughs> it's dangerous to look back. We can't ever look back. Look what happened to Lot's wife. <laughs> Tell me you love me. Tell me you'll never leave me. Tell me you love me.